Our top story tonight is something major after the horror of the May 14th mass shooting at Thompson Buffalo. A civil lawsuit was filed by the families of the victims against social media companies. Those companies fought it. Now a motion to dismiss the case against social media companies has been denied, meaning that the case can move forward. Last month, a judge denied social media company 4chan's motion to dismiss a lawsuit where the company is named. Today, a judge ruled that the case against several other social media companies can move forward. And attorney John Elmore, who represents several of those families, is joining me live in studio. John, first of all, thank you for joining us. And thank you for having me. Why is this a major decision? It's a major decision because this is the first lawsuit of its kind in the nation designed to have social media platforms held accountable for a mass shooting. I mean, and, and, it, and it's unique because when the Attorney General, New York State Attorney General, came to New York State, they did their investigation, and they found that there was a relationship between the mass shooting and social media, but the Attorney Generals, in their opinion, in their findings, said that social media platforms couldn't be sued because of Communication Decency Act, Section 230, um, which, which on, on uh, freedom of speech grounds, mm -hmm. protects social media platforms from lawsuits. But we did not file our lawsuit based upon what, on content. We filed a, what's known as a products liability lawsuit. Anytime a manufacturer may, allows a dangerous product into commerce that could endanger the public, then that manufacturer can be sued on products liability grounds. And so what we did in a unique way was file a lawsuit that said that these social media platforms are designed knowing that children and knowing that people can become addicted to it and that they monetize feeding dangerous, hateful content in a way that endangers the public. And so um, the Attorney General's office now, 43 Attorney Generals across the state have followed our model and filed um, lawsuits against social media platforms alleging that they're dangerous uh, to children. This is really big now that you break it down that way, but does this ruling mean that the courts agree that a person can be radicalized by what they see or do on social media? I, I don't want to say that the court has concluded that, but what the court has concluded is that we have the right to continue the lawsuit. What the social media platforms have done is they filed a motion to dismiss to say that you don't even get to go to court. And so now there's going to be a process known as discovery where we can get documents and studies and marketing plans from the insurance companies and question their engineers and their psychologists and their marketing people. Um, and, 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 and then at another point in time after this process called discovery is complete, the social media platforms then, I would anticipate, would file a motion to dismiss. It would be calling a, a summary judgment motion. And then the the courts would visit that again. But what it does is it allows these families that receive this terrific loss uh, an opportunity to fight and so that there's hope uh, for justice for the families that we represent. And I'm sure your clients, the families of those who lost loved ones on 514 are happy about this. So this case now moves forward. What more can we expect and how does this really impact all of us looking on? Because we know that after 514, it wasn't just families who were traumatized, it was a whole community. Really a nation in certain ways was traumatized by this. So how can we all benefit from this? Well, number one, I think we can be benefit because now people are becoming aware how social media platforms are dangerous. Congress is aware of it now. There's Mark Zuckerberg, you know, the, 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 the guy who started Facebook mm -hmm. testified in front of Congress and really apologized for some of the harm and the suicides that, uh, and losses of life of teenagers because of they committed suicides because of the influence of social media on them. So, so hopefully the country and the community will become educated about the danger of social media that because this lawsuit is allowed to proceed that some of the social media platforms will become safer yeah. and not as dangerous as they are and not spread hate. And, and I mean, if you think about it, hate over time, racial prejudice over time should dissipate because it goes from one generation to another. 
and, 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 and you happening and, on and, social and, media. Yeah. And, yeah, because people aren't getting it now from their parents in a previous generation, but they're inundated with thousands and millions of things but that the algorithms are sending to their phones and to their computers. Attorney John Elmore, thank you so much for all that you've done for this case along with your daughter, Kristen Elmore Garcia. We appreciate you being here with us and breaking it all down for us. Thank you for having me. All right.